Did you know that 80% of injuries are caused by wearing the wrong running shoe when running? Wearing the wrong running shoe can be very detrimental to a runner's health and a, the runner's pace. Today I'll be going over how to find the perfect running shoe, starting with where to go, steps to find the perfect running shoe, and the personal benefit. There are many places to go when looking for a running shoe, whether it be online or in person. If you prefer the easier way by staying home, there you can go to brooksrunning.com where you can take a five minute quiz that has several questions like where, where do you plan on running, whether it be on a trail, a track, or a treadmill, and other questions like what kind of stability do you prefer in a shoe or the cushion you would like in a shoe. Or if you prefer to go in store, you could go just over the bridge across the river into Peak Performance Running Store where they have professionally trained employees who have, who have lots of background knowledge on how to find running shoes. They also ask you questions, but they also give you advice on shoes, preferably to what you would like. So if you were to say that you plan to run a lot of miles a week, they would prefer you more durable shoes. Or if you plan to do track, which is more speed workouts, they'd prefer you more lighter shoes that are easier to help you with your pace. When thinking about their shoes that you would like, it is best to make sure that it fits your feet and that it is analyzed well, whether it be analyzed by yourself or by a professional. So no one wants to run in Vans or in Converse with no stability or durability or cushion, where it's just a flat, hard surface, which is more meant for walking or style. According to REI.com, the first step to finding the perfect shoe is asking yourself where you, where you are going to run, whether it be on a treadmill or track or trail. The next question you need to ask yourself is what kind of cushion would you like? Would you like maximum cushion where it feels like you're running on a cloud or less cushion where you can feel actually feel the ground and gravel underneath your feet when running? This is all based off of preference and whether you like running on a treadmill or you like with a lot of cushion on your shoe. The next thing to think about is the stability in a shoe. Most This is based off of how your foot actually is was built when you were born. Some people when they run, their ankles roll inwardly more, meaning that they have overpronation ankles and they would need maximum stability to help prevent this inward roll. While others, ankles roll outwardly more, which is supination and they would need more neutral stability. Personally, I have supination where my ankles roll more outwardly than inwardly and these shoes here, you can see that it has more of an average stability. One of the most important steps, which might, not, which might seem the easiest, is to make sure the shoe is actually your correct size and length. It is important, whether you do it yourself or professionally, that you make sure it is the right length. While some people prefer to actually size up when running in their shoe because they don't like to feel their feet hit the top of their shoes when they're running up hills and downhills, or others just like to use the regular size. On the contrary, belief, when you buy a shoe that actually is well fit and forms to your feet, you shouldn't have to break them in because they should already fit and be well, well analyzed and put to your feet. These shoes should last you almost 500, um, to almost 500 miles in the shoes when you're running. If you're gonna spend over $80 to even $150 on shoe, you wanna make sure it benefits you personally. When looking at shoes, you want to make sure that they are well, they have a lot of durability and they can help prevent from aches and pains in your heels, toes, ankles, and your shins, and even your upper legs, because you do not want to be sore and have your muscles start to break down. One of the most common injuries in running is shin splints, and this is caused by overuse of the muscles or even overuse of the shoe. So it's also beneficial to make sure that you're not overusing your shoe and you're 
tracking how often you are running. According to Brilliant oral, oral Health, it is buying a good running shoe is an investment to your health and your running. Because not only does it prevent possibly shin splints or even tendonitis, it also is a better fit and is beneficial for your running career. Now that I have discussed all the benefits and the steps to find the perfect running shoe, let's look back to what we have covered, starting with where to go, the steps to find the perfect shoe, and the personal benefit. Now that I have told you and described to you how to find the perfect shoe, let's make sure we get our feet well analyzed so that you are not, do not become part of the 80% that gets injured from wearing the wrong shoe. Thank you.